Yeah, it's it exists. What's up, YouTube? All right, so yesterday I, I, I told you what I was going to do about this, and I did the exact exact opposite. Yep, so here we are. I, I, uh, I went he to, was supposed to leave it alone. I went to bed thinking about it and mm -hmm. thinking about it. See, now, now they're jumping out of the damn thing. <laughs> Look at that. They you did that on purpose. And now they're jumping off. They're jumping ship. They're just jumping off. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look, you're not even in the shade or How anything. How is this even possible? You did that on purpose. No, I, I dropped it, I guess. But, uh... <laughs> God, we don't, we don't need to make up drama. No, this is real. This is real life. Uh, I dropped it and I forgot. But, uh, basically it's running right now. Wait a minute. Can you introduce yourself? Because I don't oh, know who you are. Yeah. I gotta stop yeah. sometimes, you know. Mm -mm. But, but so I drove it a little bit today. I even got it stuck. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. But uh, right? I got it back. And uh, so basically, let me pop the hood. So I just got all kinds of chrome on here now. That was the right thing to do. Not the good kind. Yeah, check it out. I got the chrome, chrome braided spark plug wire. All right, so you're just really trying to get the trolls. <laughs> All right, so let's see. How do I start this uh, explanation? <sighs> Popping out the car can be lean or it could be timing. Okay. I was concentrated on lean yesterday. Right. It was timing. All right. Uh, so I'm having a problem with timing. So I moved it a tooth and, uh, and it, it was better. Also, another thing that happened is this new distributor came with points. And I noticed the screw was loose, and I had tightened it up, and uh, and then I put it in, and it was fine. And then somehow it came loose again, so the points got loose again, and they were out of adjustment. Mm. So I don't even know how that happened. So they're adjusted again. I moved a, a tooth over, which it seems to run better that way, which which that's a whole other issue. But that helped. And then uh, I tried to change the exhaust manifold over here. Because I figured the exhaust manifold gasket might be why the spark plugs burned up too. Because too much heat's coming out, you know? So the old owner had these clamps on here. Mm -hmm. And because the bolts had broke. So uh, I knew I could reclamp these, but there was one bolt God, here. This looks terrible. So, yeah, so listen, so I tried to unbolt it, and then uh, I broke another one. So I can't take it off, or I have to pull the whole head and everything. I can't get a drill in here. I was thinking I could take the inner fender out and try to drill it. <sighs> I don't know. So this is what I came up with for now. I put a vice grip on here since I didn't have a good clamp. So I added one more to hold it. And it seems to be quieter. But it's still putting out heat. So I put some used spark plug wires I had. And I wrapped them in tin foil. And, uh, and it seems to work, you know, for now. I mean, I, mean I, I might just have to roll like this for a little while. I don't know if it could drive, like, you know, like out of the property like this. We're not. You know, I will not allow it. But around, I could move it around and it could work, you know, around here. But I don't know. I, I mean, really, I think what I'm dealing with, and when your timing's off, your carburetor's off. That's something you got to remember. So, uh, you know, I, I watched a video about how you're actually supposed to set your idle on a carburetor by your timing. Mm. So that screw that's for your idle adjustment, it's only supposed to measure the flaps on the bottom of the carburetor. It's not supposed to adjust your idle. Your timing's supposed to do that. So, so you know, when the timing's way off, everything's way off, right? So I got it closer now, for now, but I've had it right a few times. So I don't really know what the out, long-term outlook is here. But I just couldn't sleep. I just it's kept, time for the barbecue. That's what it's time for. Okay. Well, I gotta put a potato right here I and know. some foil in there. No, those are hot dogs right now. Well, that's what I figured. Like, people cook meatloafs on their exhaust and stuff. <sighs> so I figured, like, you could definitely wrap oh, your... You could definitely God. wrap your spark plug wire. But, yeah. And these aren't the greatest wires I put, but it's what I had laying around. And, uh, I don't know. I think the timing chain is bad. Maybe it even junked. I don't know. I know it has play in it because when I did the fuel pump, I could feel it. Okay. But uh, maybe maybe the timing chain's off right now, or it just has so much play that the timing is uh, you know, it's moving too much. There's too much degree in the cam and the crank. You know. 
Mm -hmm. So I think it would be smart. I don't even know how hard it is to do a timing chain on this thing. It doesn't look much harder than a 302. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but but it, it, I'll fire it up. Uh, it was running really good. And then it started running a little worse. And then, But it's not popping anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Things, you know. Jumping off. Oh my god, come on. Did you try to give it gas and yeah. then that happened? Holy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, it was like, nope. I'm going to say I'm almost positive the timing chain jumped. Yeah? Yeah. It's got to be the timing chain. Okay, so I have a question uh, uh, for all the girlfriends that are having to watch this with their boyfriends or significant uh, other. How does that happen? It got old and stretched. You know, just got old and stretched. But some of them, uh, some cars like... Uh, the fair lane there uh, mm -hmm. when they were new they had like a rubber on the gear mm -hmm. and the rubber would wear off and then there'd be a gap mm -hmm. in the chain and that but I'm gonna say I, I'm like 90% sure the timing chain must have jumped on it so to do this right I think now is to address timing right so timing chain uh, make sure the shivers on top of the center all that stuff that would be the right way to start there and then go back but then I'll still have that bad exhaust uh, you know, the head has bolts stuck in it. I got a lot of problems here. I got to think about it. Yeah. I'm not joking when I think about pulling that motor. I'm, I'm thinking about pulling it. I could even put like another one of these in it. Yeah. Maybe I, which try, ones are easier to get? Try to get a 390. You get more gas mileage. Okay. Yeah. 360s use a lot of gas. But a 390, just because of the way it, it strokes and all that, for some reason, you'll get like three or four miles per gallon more. Hmm. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. But see, I, if I'm going to do that, I don't know if I want to keep this clutch. I want to put on and <clears throat> So then I need a, like a parts truck or something. I don't know, man. This is bad. It was running way good. Like I was driving and everything earlier. That's the story, though. Yeah, that's what's weird. It keeps changing. Why is it changing? I don't know, man. I came down to have good news. I was like, yeah, I got it good enough to drive around the property. You know, it's fine. No. So I, I think, I think, uh, I have to sleep on it. <laughs> I did yesterday. Oh my God. I had a speech too. I was going to be like, you know, uh, you know, lately, cause this is true. A lot of things I've been doing, uh, it's taken me like four times to get it right. Mm -hmm. Like I would have normally gave up at two. Yeah. But I've been going powering through. So three, four, then the fourth time it's been working. Yeah. So, man. I guess one way to know if it's a tooth off would be also put it on top of the center and see if I could get it. I don't know. It's, dang it. She ran for a while. A year. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. And I needed it too. Yeah, I was going to use it, but maybe we'll just be using the Falcon a little bit. I don't know. I can't shove a bunch of bushes in the Falcon. It's not big enough. Yeah. I got that rusty old trailer. 
Yeah, maybe that's it'll be the winner of the trailer. But you can't put much bushes in there either, unless I build it higher. Right. You know, like some two by fours and stuff. Well, that's gonna be your cheapest, easiest option. option. Or, or I'll have to do what we used to do, just burn in place. Yeah, I know we Maybe talked about that. Maybe that's what we're going to have to do. We're probably going to have to just burn in place. I don't know. So this truck was supposed to just be a property truck, but then I fell in love with it. Yeah. So I really love this truck. I like Out of all the vehicles here, you know, that are mine, the Fairlane's a keeper and this is a keeper. The other ones are not. You know what I mean? I love them, but I mean, you know. But this truck, I really want to hold on to. I've had some old trucks before. I had a 69, I had a 74. And uh, I loved it, and I let him go. And this one, I don't know, man. It sits kind of high for being a two-wheel drive. And yeah. I really like it, so I think that I think I want to put a motor in it. All right, huh? I know where there's a truck nicer than this, though, unfortunately. But it would have the whole running gear. If you're in the Northern California area and you have a motor, three ninety, that you could part with. Uh, go ahead and email us, solaracreca at gmail.com. You have the money right now? You act like you no. have the money right now. But somebody could see this in three months and be like, oh, my God. Oh, uh, that's true. You know? Well, don't post it. Don't call us for three months. And then, yeah. <laughs> what? In three months? It's Christmas, man. <laughs> okay, then make it four or five. I don't know. But yeah, I call us in 2025. With, with what just happened there, I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking it's going to need a motor. It would be smart. Yeah. But I could do the timing too, right? Do the timing chain. But then I still have the problem with the head. It's got to be drilled out. So the motor should probably come up or the fenders come off. Did you see the thumbnail in the video? Yeah, I was all disappointed. Yeah, and you know what's funny? That's uh, what it, uh, I didn't set that. Yeah. You know, some people do clickbait with that shit. That's what YouTube put it as. But YouTube, YouTube's tired of it. I can't believe it did that again. Hmm. Um, well, it's just giving me every different problem. It's not one problem. It's like six problems, six different things. Everything's just. Well, tell them about our friends with their truck. Uh, our friends having some motor. trouble with their motor. And then uh, they got a new motor and that motor was no good. Then they got another motor and that motor was no good. And it's all being done like brand new. Yeah. Know, a shop. Warranties and all that. So. Uh, this one I, I just put together myself and I've been good, you know, but I'll tell you, uh, it's hard sometimes. This this motor is... You're going to give us some cooler temperatures? No, you're giving us a heat wave. Well, when's that coming? Th this week. Oh. It's going back up oh. to 96 or something. Oh, I got the cool. They're obviously. making it right there. I like the four speed, but I think for the property, like it automatically would be better so I could park on the hills and stuff. Yeah. I wonder what it would take to put it automatic. I don't know. I don't know, but you made it real easy on me for this video. It's just one long clip. Look at you right there. You're the you're the thumbnail right there. <laughs> I don't know. I like the truck, you know. Yeah, it's a solid truck. I mean, there's some rust, but it's not a lot. It drives real straight, you know, on the highway and stuff. It drives real straight. And you know, the, the the problems it's having, a lot of the symptoms that I thought was the old two-barrel carburetor, which that, that did have problems, but a lot of those symptoms are still happening with, with this carburetor, too. Like, So So then you have to look beyond the carburetor. Right, that's why I'm saying that there's, you know, there is carburetor, there was carburetor stuff, but there's motor stuff, there's timing mm -hmm. going on, you know. I don't know. We'll see you tomorrow, because we'll probably do something else, and then... Uh, I don't know. I mean, unless I get it, I guess I could try to put it all like a top dead center perfectly and see. But see, the problem is it'll be working for like a while, like an hour or something like that. And all of a sudden this will happen. Yeah. So what does that tell you? Well, it could be the timing chain, you know, the way it moves. The, you know, like it's possible right now that they can. And the crank is off, right? Just like a little bit. They're not lined up. You know, mm -hmm. the cam's a little off. Yeah. And then I'm fighting it with the distributor. Uh -huh. So it's all, you know, and then it's it's like kind of like stuck in the middle where it's off a little bit. You know, it's not quite right. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't all know. right. I think it's going to cut you off soon. All right. Well, I tried. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Just God, keep on keeping on. God don't like the foil. Yeah. 
I don't know. <laughs> I put the foil on there. Uh, all right. It hey, was genius though. It, it fixed the it's problem. Something. It fixed the problem of it getting hot. It really did. Yeah. I drove it around and I even got stuck and everything. All right. All right. Well, I guess I don't know. I, I have to sleep on it again. This was supposed to be good, like, like uh, good oh, enough. I made it work, you know. At least it yeah. runs. Well. Anyway, right, now I guess it's time to get serious. Not tape, duct tape, and yeah, it's not duct tape. Tin what? foil is not going to do it. it. Needs to be done right. It needs, it needs, it needs it done right. Yeah. So I need a four barrel, four twenty eight. Okay. That's probably what I need. All right. No, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. All right, we'll put. It, I don't know three hundred two. I don't know. Man. What do you guys think? Comment down know. below. If you had this truck, what would you put in there? Yeah. Let us know. Maybe 302, I don't know. 302 would be a nice, simple motor, you know. Uh -huh. But I wanted this motor. I like the Epi motor. Yep. All right. See you guys in the next one. Okay. Spark plug.